Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Measy Mill, and I'm here today with another YouTube video. Yo, Measy, where you been? Uh, uh, man, I've been trying to get my setup right so I can start streaming. So I want y'all to hit that subscribe button so y'all can come join the stream, have a chill, good time when I start streaming. And I want you to also like up that video because this is gonna be a banger right here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show y'all how to get all y'all shooting badges really fast. And I just made this, this is my normal account, but I made it a few weeks ago, probably like three weeks ago. And it took me max a week to get my pick and popper hall of fame, max, catch and shoot, max, corner specialist, max, deep range dead eye, max, limitless range, max. All my shooting badges are max. Now, if I could get them on hall of fame, they'll be all hall of fame right now. That's literally how fast I got. But what you wanna do is on your, in your, uh, your game time, game difficulty, quarter length, shit like that. What you wanna do is, I normally play on Pro Hall of Fame 12 minutes. I mean, Hall of Fame 12 minutes because it normally takes, like, you don't get as much uh, badge increase each game. So I put it on Hall of Fame 12, but for the purposes of the video, I'm gonna put it on Pro five minutes so I can show y'all what y'all need to do so y'all can go out there and grind. All right, into the video. So to get the the badges started, everything started. The first thing that you need to know is that whenever you grind your badges, you always want to do two or more badges at one time. So it'll be the fastest that you can get it done. So I paired limitless and pick and popper, corner specialist and deep range dead out, and catch and shoot by itself because any shot that you shoot from the three point line will be towards catch and shoot. So the easy way to do this is you you want to find a spot that you can just stand where they won't really guard you. Now, all my point guards, they have Dahmer on gold. Even I have Chris Paul, Marcus Young, and I have James Harden. On defense, do not play defense because you will get way, way more, way more rep. And you will get way more shots. So, oh God. Just shoot it. Just stand somewhere where they're not standing face up on you and shoot it. Now, after they score, if somebody comes up the court, you just want to try to set a screen and pop out. But it didn't work that time. I could have pulled, but I'm trying to be smart. I'm trying to get this gameplay for y'all. But he's not He's not playing on me. Just pull. Oh, I fucked up jump shot. But it's still going. All right. Now, rem remember, I'm on pro right now. If you play on Hall of Fame, all your shots will not go in. Now, you will get better at learning where to stand and what to do in different situations. But the first thing you want to do is try to get your takeover to team takeover. Team takeover is so helpful because when you get team takeover, that's where you grind and get all of your, basically you get all your rep. So try to get some rebounds, do whatever you got to do to get your, oh, I missed the rebound, but do whatever you can. Do whatever you got to do to get your uh, take team takeover. All right, now that you have team takeover, this is where you want to turn up at. On, on defense, change your defense to half court trap so they can score as fast as they can. Get easy buckets for them so you can get easy buckets for you too. All right, now you want to set a screen called pick and pop for you if you don't know how to call a pick and pop for your player what you want to do is you want to place l1 or lb hold your player's icon and then press r1 or rb so he can fade all right so now you just want to turn up try to do as many pick and pops if you have a free limitless shot shoot it because all you're doing is grinding badges you're not worried about nothing else but your badges basically the agenda is to get your team takeover and try to do as many pick and pops as you can do. I'm in a different game right now, and I'm gonna teach y'all how to get this corner specialist and deep range dead eye. What you wanna do is you wanna go to the corner, 
you see what I'm doing, and you just pump fake, and then he'll back up, and you want to shoot it. Sometimes you get an open shot. Sometimes you get lightly contested. Most of the times, if they like are closer up on you and you have the little white, the white half circle under you, but you'll get a lightly contested shot, and you'll you'll make it. But it, this part right here is really more of a grind because you will not make all your shots. Just you see how that is early lightly contested. Now that should have been a green, but you know how 2K is sometimes. But still on defense, you don't want to play. You don't want to play defense. But wait until you get the ball. Go to the corner. Call for the ball. Spam. Spam it up. Spam it up. They'll pass it to you eventually. Pump fake. And then shoot that hoe. Wet like water? And that's what you just want to keep doing for this corner specialist. And deep range that I try to get team takeover. Because everything will go in after that. And just keep on grinding, boys. Now, another part for the limitless, um, you need to shoot 30 limitless threes in one game. It's simple. It's really simple. Just go to the corner. Sometimes pe like, people like this, you want to like set a screen on like the point, point guard so you can get like a smaller defender on you so you can shoot right over his head. But I do just fine shooting over his tall ass too. But he gonna get a uh, look at that steal. Night spam, go to the corner, pump fake, shoot it, lightly contested. Should have been green like water, but it's not. It's all good. But these shots right here, they really do not drop that often. And the the ground for this part is real. I have mine on gold. It didn't take me that many games after I got used to it. But sometimes when they like. Not up on me, I just want to pull it. The grind is real. <laughs> I'm not playing with y'all. All right, and on catch and shoot, every shot that you take from the three, it counts towards your catch and shoot badge. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I want you to comment down below. How do you feel about the Pelicans and the Lakers trade? How do you feel about Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, Josh Hart? and the number four overall pick in this year's draft. And on top of that, three future first round picks just for Anthony Davis. How do y'all feel about Anthony Davis being with LeBron this year? Honestly, Katie's my favorite player, but I wish he never went to the Warriors. I wish he stayed with OKC back in 07, 08 years. I wish he stayed. But comment down below how y'all feel, and I'm out.